Hello, warm welcome and good evening to the Super Sunday fixtures of the 27th Senior Women's National Football Championship 2022-23 season powered by Hero. On this blockbuster of a Super Sunday, Himachal Pradesh take on railways at the GNDU main venue. In a group B clash, both sides are desperate for points. Himachal Pradesh and railways have both lost their openers and now they want all three points to make sure that they progress to the next round. This is a very strong group. Remember, we have the perennial champions Manipur and the strong contenders in Maharashtra. Both sides have each played a game and are yet to pick up a single point. Can their fortunes turn around today? We will find out very shortly. Railways have opened their account with a single goal, but Himachal Pradesh, on the other hand, are yet to find that goal scoring touch. After those heavy defeats in their openers, both sides could have spent a lot more time on the training ground trying to do something different and get the goals and get the win under the belt. It's always the practice that matters, no matter how many times you get down. It's all in how you get up and fight. Both these sides are ready to display their fight yet again. The players heading onto the field along with the match referees. Under the hot and scorching summer sun, this is going to be a draining fixture. All the players have to be in their best physical and mental state to come out on top after 90 minutes of grueling footballing action. The dignitaries meeting both sets of players, introducing themselves, getting to know better. And the players do know that better performances here will guarantee them better chances elsewhere. This is a platform they must use to springboard their careers onto the next level. A friendly shake of hands and an acknowledgement to play the game in the spirit. Ruba Devi is the match official today. She will be assisted by Devala Devi, Elangbam and Shima Bairagi. Usha is going to act as the fourth empire. And Kimberly Miranda is going to oversee the game as the match commissioner. The captains making their way to the halfway line. Riya Sharma and Yumnam Kamla Devi exchanging pleasantries before the coin toss. The players breaking into the huddle for one last time. Trying to get the best impact and trying to show their practice and determination on the field to beat their opponents and take a positive step in the tournament. Here is the starting lineup of Himachal Pradesh, headed by Hashib Ahmed. He starts Manisha in goal with Riya Sharma, the captain in midfield. And they've got solid options in attack, including Anju and Manisha. And now Railways with Swarnamai Samal in goal and Yumnam Kamla Devi as the captain and the star striker. Remember, Anju Tamang 
currently leading the golden boot chats with 11 goals to her name she might be determined to add more to her tally archishman biswas is the coach of railways The time for the practice is over and we are just moments away from the action. Anju Tamang will be the star to watch out for the indian midfielder has the highest number of goals in the tournament but she is the breathing room is being cut down she is having strong competition for the golden boot now she has to step up and take a side to the next round and so we have the kick off at the gndu main venue attacking in green from left to right of your screen are railways and attacking from right to left of your screen in the all white kit ahimachal pradesh number 4 trying to find the long ball forward marchal's defense intercepting it and out they come on the first attack number 6 lofting it towards the flank the winger doing well to trap it but railways will concede the throw now the wing in abundance of space on the flank to pokes it into the middle easily repelled away by railways defense marchal asking the early questions Again another one two round the full backs the cross goes in this time but straight at the goalkeeper's arms Himachal Pradesh with a confident start Swarnamai Samal had to claim that The number 10 Anju Tamang with a brilliant dash she wins the ball as cleanly as possible but they're not able to do much the hash clearance is could be made a meal out of it the goalkeeper wins a foul in her favor manisha was under pressure when she slipped the ball but the referee recognizes that the one instance of pressing from anju tamang tells you what she is all about some controlled aggression charging on to her opponent winning the ball away the captain stepping up now here's anju on the ball the idea was good and the execution will be much better if the flag stays down but it won't trying to pass it around the himachal defense but they stepped up smartly to catch the winger offside no pressure exerted by railways on the free kick himachal have a chance to go long anju hoist it forward a chase for the full back and the winger full back coming on top but the clearance is a hashed one Himachal have just enough numbers that's some lovely triangular passing between the players and the mountain state come away that's a poor pass rather a good very good interception you have to say 
some fluent passing move on the left flank between the full back defensive midfielder and the winger himachal pradesh have recorded us unbelievable score line in the group stage and 19-1 drubbing of andhra pradesh these are nothing short of cricket scores they have taken andhra to the cleaners completely and an early cross on the left flank going out of play for railways looks like it has taken a deflection of the himachal defender and now in the fourth minute we have our first corner of the game the number 4 swinging it into the box the first header is won by himachal but they are not away with the trouble yet time and distance to go for goal but that just bounces in front of the goalkeeper and manish has no problem saving that sanju yadav thought she could go for goal it was a good attempt but it lacked the important power to beat the goalkeeper from that range and now himachal have a good situation the ball slipped between the defender's legs railways recover well on time they have a chance to counter attack now look at the bodies going forward the overlapping run from the full back her opposite number is in full swing to thwart it naketa taking no nonsense and clearing it out for a throw in trying to chop the ball back to anju but it's a wasted attempt and himachal have the ball back once again trying to release their wingers it's a fast start both sides are having those threatening ideas but the execution is just a little off the mark they have to start getting those deliveries on time now a good physical duel both the players locked there but not giving away a foul credit to both the players involved long ball headed straight to himachal pradesh they might have an interest here the number 10 trying to dribble her way away from the marker but she can't again a sequence of poor passing from both the sides not able to get the ball away in dangerous areas Himachal's defenders clearing their lines. Dangerous long balls are being fired as soon as the teams win possession in the middle of the park. Every situation has to be dealt with because they are coming in at an awkward angle. Again, is the same duo but in the other end of the pitch. Mamta. tussling with ritu devi some early history between both the players now it will be interesting to see how they go along the game how about that for physicality brilliantly done used the frame to our advantage and turn the possession over crucial interception she had to get that or else railways were threatening to run behind the defense the initial work ethic of railways forwards has to be praised they're coming back and this is the intensity with which they are coming back they win the ball in a dangerous situation the captain trying to play an ambitious ball anju takes it down well but the goalkeeper is very alert and offer line good first touch from anju but before she was able to pull the trigger the goalkeeper made it her own kamla devi some fine awareness and link up play between both the forwards the referee awards a free kick there to himachal pradesh 
due to the raised boot on the goalkeeper. Rather, it's it's supposedly a free kick for another offence, much higher of pitch. Key physical duels have been the theme of this game. Both sets of players are not afraid in giving it to each other. The aggressive pressing and the shielding of the ball. They're just holding on to it with dear lives. Did it just brush the head of the defender over there? The cross coming in is a weak one. But even before that, it went out of play and the referee awards a goal kick. We can see the wingers of railways hugging the touch lines very wide, even out of our pictures. The fact that they are wide and coupled with the fact that Himachal are playing a narrow defense, they're having spaces to run in behind. The Himachal defense has to stretch a little wider to get closer to the wingers. The ball hitting the referee, but Himachal do get the advantage and they play on. Looking for options and finding the pass back was a safe option, but that was a poor clearance from Himachal's number 5, Naketa. Under no pressure, she just gave it away. Anju. A good pass inside. The captain's first touch, whether she was trying to pass or she was trying to trap it first time, we never know. But she gave the ball away and here come Himachal on a counter. Number 13 trying to play a threaded pass into the middle. That's easily intercepted by the railway's defence. And a heartwarming story. Railways won the NFC title in 2015-16 season. It's never easy to win this great tournament, especially by breaking the Manipuri dominance over it. And they did just that in 2016. And they were moments away from clinching the title in the following season as well. But Manipur strike back and made sure that Railways won't do it in back-to-back -back years. Hence, the railways finished as the runners up in the 2016 17 season, and now the here is Anju Tamang. She has options, picks the number eight on the edge of the box. She has to go for goal, but she spreads it out wide. The number 11 from a tight angle, good block from the defender. Poonam getting between the ball and the goal, preventing a certain shot on target. But that presents railways another opportunity to test the Himachal defense with a corner. The direct threat of Anju's dribbling, we can see it, she's playing all over the field on the left flank, right flank and through the middle. The cross headed down, but it hits the Himachari defender. Well taken down by the captain, spreading it out wide. The cross fired in, three women in the middle, but the volley is just lofted high into the sky and easily claimed by Manisha. Should have done better. She knows she should have done better. Kamla Devi. On the volley. A great chance. Another crunching tackle. Himachal are putting themselves under unnecessary pressure. Anju's cross. It should be a tap in. How did she, she miss from there? Railways should be ahead. There goes the long effort. Manisha spills it first time. The number 11 strike and again. A decent save from Manisha. Complete care inside the a great chance from Anju's cross missed and Manisha making a meal of a long shot 
which almost allowed Mamta to tuck it home. But she covers it up with a brilliant save. A great chance missed for Elvis. And they take the corner shot this time. The number four delivers it with her left foot into the box. Anju chases and keeps it alive. Knocking it past the defender, cutting on to the left foot. Here comes the volley, strikes the post yet again. The rebound is saved by Manisha. Could you believe it? A plethora of chances for railways. They're simply not able to convert it. Again, it's Anju who creates the opportunity on her left foot with a brilliant cross. The volley hitting the post and saving the goalkeeper's blushes. Railways growing strongly into the game, especially from set pieces. Couple of decent touches from the fullback before hooking it clear. Again, both the centre backs exchanging passes amongst themselves of both the sides. Railways winning the ball back in the opposition's territory. Kamla Devi dropping wide. Picks the pass to the middle. Intercepted, but it will come back to Railways yet again. The centre back slashed the clearance. It looked like Anju could be in for a moment. But she gave up the chase as she saw the goalkeeper get there ahead of her. Manisha's goal kick. The supreme physicality of railways coming to the fore. They're winning the duels. They're winning the aerial deliveries. And the second ball's easily. Machel are not able to penetrate into the opposition's half effectively. They're giving the ball away every time. And now Mamta to Anju in the middle. Brilliant footwork. Goes for goal. Just above. A free shot. She had to do better. She had to at least keep it on target. On her wicked left foot. Beating the defender with some good skill. But not beating Manisha. She went straight down the middle. And powered it a little more than what she had expected. Again, Mamta running past the fullback. She delivers it into the middle on her right foot. The cross will be kept alive on the opposite flank. Sanju Yadav. This time another dangerous cross. Well cleared by the Himachal defence. They have to stay alert now. The threat is not gone yet. Anju's overhead pass into the box. It's cleared well and will be another corner for railways. Himachal Pradesh are getting increasingly pinned in their own area. By the looks of it, a goal is certainly coming for railways, but who will step up and take the chance? The ever reliable Anju missing a clean through opportunity on goal. And the other forwards. The captain guilty of missing a good volley as well. Mamta and Sanju hitting the post. They need to make these opportunities count. The physio on the field to attend a player who is down temporarily. Naketa in some discomfort. Himachal will be reduced to 10 while defending the set piece. Can Railways utilize this momentary opportunity? They've opted for zonal marking. A very tricky situation in the box now. They're asking for reinforcements inside the box, but there goes the cross. At the far post, a poor header, you have to say. 
inside the six yard box it has to be goal bound she couldn't get a hold of the ball and simply heads it outside the delivery needed a better response from the players attacking it look at the time and space they're finding in the center of the pitch brilliant pass from anju to poking it to the number 2 just a heavy touch from her and she was in an offside position jama mani to do very eager to get ahead from the full back position a little bit too eager we must say as she just made a run earlier than the defensive line good news for himachal pradesh their defender is back on the pitch again it's 11 v 11 contest well wari english is back out the stretcher is out for her they are still down to 10 temporarily will the substitute be ready in time himachal pradesh are finally able to launch one attack the pass over the top just overhead and swarnamai has a chance to get a feel of the ball after such a long period of time himachal now need to be alert and opt for the substitution quickly so smart touch there pass the full back the number 13 has been the outlet for himachal on that left flank that's a wasteful opportunity that's a wasted opportunity she could have held the ball down waited for options but she swung it first time to the winger in an offside position himachal himachal pradesh are not pressing railways well they are having very huge amount of time to pick their passes and when they do get the opportunity to break their passing is letting them down time and time again anju spreads it to the left flank the crushing tackle what did the referee see this is no mal intention malicious intent not spotted says the referee she only a watch a throw in how great of a tackle was that to pinch the ball away from the winger's feet kamla's left footed cross alert goal keeping manisha off a line to claim the cross nearing the end of the first quarter railways has been the side in full form they have entered the field with more hunger and intensity than their opponents but are unable to find that goal yet to find the opener again the aerial duel won by himachal will only go out for a throw in number 14 isolated on the right wing but gets the cross away it hits the top of the cross bar a tricky situation for the goalkeeper she was not interested at first but then later realized it might come back in the ball skims the top of the cross bar and goes out of play Himachal have kept a 50% clean sheet record two out of four in the group stage matches but their first outing in the final round they have conceded four goals to west bengal a tough lesson that a steep 
upgrade in the quality between the group stages and final stages. But today in the first quarter they have survived. Railways have come inches close. They were denied by the post and an incredible save. But they would feel that they deserve a goal at least. Himachal's defence need to improve. There are some shocking gaps in the middle which they need to plug. The ball does go out of play. It's a throw in for Railways. The captain giving it or receiving it and firing a first time cross into the middle. A decent first touch and the strike on goal. Super block. Certainly. A block that prevents a goal. The defense has been giving some gaps, but the determination is there to be seen. Last ditch tackles and blocks, exceptional from Himachal. But how long can they let this go on? The conceding chances very easily. And Anju's pass around the corner is to a winger in an offside position. Crucial blocks coming from Himachal. Just a couple of minutes before we saw a good tackle inside the box and this one. Surely that was a shot bound for the bottom corner. The defender threw herself at it and blocks it. Once more we see railways dominate the aerial battle. But the block fortunately coming in favour of Himachal Pradesh. Can they create something now? Fired into the middle. First time the goalkeeper. Swarnamai. Just spilling the ball. And collecting it quickly before the striker could have an interest. Anju dropping shot between the lines. 2-2. Crosses it into the middle. The goalkeeper comes out. But Kamala Devi's run was timed. A second earlier. Once again, Railway is riding down the left flank. A good give and go between the wingers. Number 8 on the ball. Hooks the cross in. Parried away by the goalkeeper first time. Anju is there and shockingly misses it from close range. She's hoping for a deflection. A very weak punch from the goalkeeper. Only as far as Anju. She chests it and goes for the shot. It looks like it did take a touch of the defender. No, says the referee, and it's a goal kick. Anju Tamang in golden touch throughout the tournament. Missing two big opportunities today. In this case, this was a little tougher than the first one. She was crowded out as she was letting a shot out. Couple of defenders breathing on her necks, and she was unable to put it on target. But a chance missed nonetheless. And now this is concerning. This is definitely concerning for Himachal. They're not staying on the ball at all. Their midfield is giving the ball away time and time again. Sanju Yadav. Having a field day on the left flank against Poonam. She's enjoying a time with the fullback, isolated, dribbling it, creating chances for fun. The number four cuts one into the box. This time, Manisha claims it easily. Asha Lata Devi trying to create something from deep. There was the option, but she just overhits the cross. Mm -hmm. 
Anju too poking it into an area of uncertainty. The centre backs just shielded Kamala Devi out to allow the goalkeeper to collect and distribute it quickly. These are the areas which Himachal are failing to control. And their coach is desperate to call all his players together to get the message across. Their ball retention has been very poor. The strikers haven't had a proper touch. The least involved players on the pitch along with the railways goalkeeper. They need to change something. Maybe a change of shape will help them hold the ball better and find some service for the forwards. Captain Riya Sharma has been barely involved. She's cutting a frustrated figure. Join us on the other side of the cooling break in a minute. And now again, the play about to resume with a Himachal throw-in. What changes do we see for the final 15 minutes of the half? Can we see Himachal get a foothold in the game? Now that is some aggressive pressing. But nothing matches Anju's counter-pressing, does it? She's a player who will make impact. And that's a very poor touch. Manisha instantly apologizing to her teammates. A simple pass from the center back. She fails to sort her feet on time and presents a corner. This is a really, really a gift for railways. Can they make it count? Sanju Yadav will be delivering it. They will take it short. Anju trying to beat the defender, but she can't. Again, good piece of skill from Sanju. Dancing with a full back. Beats her for pace. Gets the cross in the number 14 as a clean shot. And she skies it. Under no pressure. No defender between her and goal. She had to keep it on target. That's a poor effort. Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the goal. She scanned for the opportunity. The pace of the ball just surprised her. Lahari Mangaraj passing up another great opportunity for Railways to take the lead. Will this come back to hurt them? Railways are missing too many opportunities for their own good. They need to find that opener. The quicker they do it, the better. Because you never know in this game of football, one successful counter is all it takes to turn the tide and get the result. Again, Himachal's defenders put under pressure. Kamala Devi 
forcing the error from the opposition, winning a throw-in for her side. Sanju now. Number four's cross from the deep once again. Straight down the middle. She has been a busy player. Manisha, so many crosses fired into the box. So many shots taken. She can't let her concentration drop. And speaking of concentration levels, you have to feel for Swarnamai because Railways' as goalkeeper has had very few touches. And on the one occasion, Himachal gets forward. It might be difficult for her. A staggering difference in between both the sides. 11 attempts from Railways, 6 on target. Himachal Pradesh must be disappointed with themselves. 35 minutes in, they are yet to take a single shot. Complete dominant performance from Railways. And now, a lack of communication between the back line. But that is a rash shot. It does count as a shot at goal. But it doesn't mean anything. That's a poor effort from outside. Desperate to get something away. Again, look how deep Anju is dropping to make the play. Machal Pradesh is missing someone of that elite quality to tick the things. And now, just a crucial interception that could have released the full back. Fine skills from the number four. She finds a teammate with ease. And she is there once again. But the referee says she caught her opponent. Much else, number 10, Anju. Down in with some discomfort. The heavy tackle from behind, coming together of the boots. Himachal now do have a free kick. They need a better delivery. Win the first ball, win the second ball. Keep it down and then go for goal. It has to be as simple as that. Can they execute it? Number 11, firing it into the middle. Towards the edge of the box, cleared by Railways. And they do have a chance of a counter. Here is Anju, isolated with the full back, with options in the middle. But a heavy touch there. She tried to cut in first time. Gives a poor touch. The counter ends abruptly without producing anything. He much will survive yet again. That's a smart change of body positioning. But the ball runs away straight to a railways player. Here is Mamta. Drifting past. And this has to be. This must be the finish. Chips it past the goalkeeper. A delightful finish. Superbly taken from Mamta. The burst of pace making the difference. And the smart finish. Just lobbing it. Past the on-rushing goalkeeper. Manisha stood no chance. She went down. And she was coming ahead. She saw it, Mamta saw it and just chips it past the goalkeeper. That's a lovely finish. And finally, Railways have the goal they deserve. Again, what a supreme solo effort that is from Mamta. Deceived the ball, turned past the defenders. A great bust of pace to take the centre-backs out of the game. And when she was 1v1 with the goalkeeper, she had the presence of mind to spot her coming out and then producing a delightful lob into the empty net. This is a finish that most top strikers would be proud of. Himachal's task just got even tougher. 
because they have to come out and play for something. Anju trying to fire in the winger. Yet again, she finds an offside pass. A passing radar has been a second too early. Now Anju. Here she is again, but the centre back is proactive and wins the ball. Here come Himachal on a dangerous counter. The number 13. Will she go for goal? She has a decent angle to strike and she strikes it. A superb finish. Swarnamai not able to do anything. What a sweet response this is from Himachal Pradesh. Manisha hitting back. Well, this is what we meant. One good chance is all it takes. Release down the flank. Away from her marker. Cutting towards goal and the left-footed strike. Catching the goalkeeper at a near post. She has to do better than that. Just curled it in from outside. Towards the middle. But you expect better from Swarnamai. And Himachal Pradesh have restored parity within moments. Who saw this coming? The deserved lead we thought Railways took only lasts for three minutes. And we have two goals in the space of five. We just spoke how she was a creative outlet for Himachal. Constantly they were giving the ball to her on the left wing. And this time, a yard space was all it took for her to burst past the full back and the centre back and find the finish. First shot on target and first goal for Himachal. Maybe this is what efficiency means. Can they find yet another counter like that? And a small stoppage in the play. Just the updated figure of goals. Himachal Pradesh. Incredible 42 to their name. And they're off the mark in the final round as well. By scoring the 42nd goal in fashion. And Railways. Who have got the direct entry into the final round. Have scored the second one. Just some moments ago. A 42 to 2. The incredible staggering number of goals difference between both the sides will this goal give some much needed confidence for Himachal they have been largely reduced to a counter attacking outfit in this game but can they hold on to the ball play on the front foot Lob towards the goal. Anju shields it well. Finds the ball back. Now Himachal keeping the ball in the enemy territory. The pass finds its way to the striker, rounds the keeper, this has to be 
but the heavy touch taking it away what a sucker punch that could have been from himachal the center back missing it again there manisha rounding the goalkeeper swarnamai but she was unable to dispatch the finish the momentum taking her away from the goal and now how quickly the game has turned himachal this is what a goal does to you lifts your spirits lifts your confidence they came so close to scoring the second goal of the match railways are a bit shocked they might be hoping for the half time whistle now to reassess the situation and then take the field again and now there is some confusion the lack of communication between the center backs allowing railways to win a corner that it is going to be a throw in good defensive shielding three players taking out the player on the ball but railways with some fine counter press as usual now this is superb football manisha goes down claims for a foul doesn't get it mamta allowing kamla devi to steal the ball gets there to receive the final cut back both the players jostling for the ball himachal do clear their lines we're into the injury time till the 35th minute it was all going in railways favor they even scored the goal they deserved after missing so many opportunities but after that himachal only got one chance and took it and it has been a different game ever since an even contest as we approach the half time anju smartly turning away trying to cut in words tries to find the winger but the pass is intercepted 4 minutes of added time owing to the injuries we had railways will be looking to score and take the lead into the halfway doubling down yielding good result but they are unable to keep hold of the ball fine touch from the captain but she was unable to release mamata and now the number 17 winning it full well coming forward there is space on the right flank a good interception from the full back she had to cut the ball out the drop kick taken long it will be a throw in for himachal the possession stats would be interesting now because there has been a significant swing after the equalizer they are keeping hold of the ball for a longer period of time getting a chance to take the throw in again must do better this time looks like the ball has gone out of play into the final minute of with the injury time in the first half
Railways would end the half with the ball in their favour. Might be the final attack of the half now. Intercepted by Himachal. A dangerous bouncing ball. Can they get the ball to safety? Yes is the answer and the referee brings the half to an end. What should have been a dominant railways performance for the majority of the half has surprisingly turned into an even contest by the end of it. Railways strike first but Himachal then strike back in the most unexpected of ways. Mamta's opener has been cancelled by Manisha's lightning quick equaliser just three minutes apart. We have the stage set for a grandstand second half. Just two minutes separating the goals of both the sides. Both the sides, I would like to remind you, in desperate need of all three points. We start, we started the game with both sides needing the win. And now, even at the half time, both sides are stuck together at 1-1. Who will come out with greater intent in the second half and snatch the victory? Join us on the other side of the break. Now the position stats heavily in favour of the railways. If not for the final 10 minute swing, the figures could have been even more in their favour. 65% of the ball held with them and the difference in shots. The staggering difference doesn't mean anything as Mamita's well taken lobbed finish was cancelled out by Manisha's counter. We will see how that game pans out in the second half. Leaving you for a short breather. And the score update from the Guru Nanak Stadium. Maharashtra are surprisingly behind. Haryana have the lead at the halftime. Can the favourites Maharashtra strike back? The second half will unravel many things. And this is one of them as well.
Welcome back to the second half action. Both sides locked at 1-1. After 15 minutes of the coach's words in their ears, what can be the difference? Who will be the difference maker? Attacking from left to right of your screen in all white, Ahimachal Pradesh. The side that have come back strongly into the game and attacking from right to left of your screen in green are railways. Now Anju Tamang, the first touch, not a great one. She has had a couple of great chances in the first half. She failed to take them. She must be more clinical because railways need all these points. Her star quality has to shine now. An opportunity for railways. Now Himachal. Growing more confident on the ball, but they just give it away unnecessarily. Anju Tamang spinning away, looking for chances. Place it into the center with a brilliant pass. The captain going for goal, and what an effort that is! Did the flag stay down? Kamla Devi. There is some chaos, but it does count. Kamla Devi with a brilliant finish from outside the box, catching the goalkeeper with the lob. Anju Tamang and Kamala Devi combining. The captain delivering very early into the second half. Anju's ball, it striked her on the arm. There were some appeals, but it looked like it did hit her on the safe portion, on the allowable portion. And Railways have their lead again. How about that for a finish? She took it down on her stride and then lobs the goalkeeper from outside the box. Even at her near post. This is some quality football from Railways. This is what they are capable of. Can they sustain this for the 40 minutes remaining or so? Himachal now have to go out and do all the hard work yet again. Yumnam Kamla Devi, the goal scorer, the captain. And a disappointing attack from Himachal Pradesh. Trying the skill. Keeps the attack alive. The centre back missing it. Himachal, do have something to say on the right hand side. The number 9 going to the touch line. Drawing it back for the full back. But the pass is well intercepted by the captain who came all the way back to defend. That is the intensity, that is the hunger we love to see from the players. And now another lightning quick ball. The goalkeeper coming out the chip. It's a superb finish. And now Railways are running away with the game. Manisha coming a long way out. The winger's eyes lit up. She went for the chip. The first time finish. Executed perfection. Lahari there. What a superb finish that is. She saw the goalkeeper rush out. Hits the underside of the ball perfectly. And Railways are threatening to run away. 
an implosion in the second half from Himachal Pradesh. Here comes Anju yet again. She is due a goal, remember. She loves to be on the score sheet. And one goal now. The ball striking the arm of the railways player. Himachal need a breather. This is not the start at all they might have expected in the second half. After that bright 10 minute spell and the 15 minute half time break, they would have completely come out with different intentions. But what has panned out on the field is unexpected. We cannot completely rid the goalkeeper from the blame. But that was reckless or bold, you have to say. The difference in the end result will determine that. Had she pulled off the save, it could have been a bold effort. But instead, she gave the striker an empty net to finish. That's some high risk, high reward type of goalkeeping. And the goalkeeper has come out on the wrong end of high risk. Two quick strikes from Railways early in the half. Corner played into the middle. Captain striking for goal. There's a meal in the middle. Players going down, appeals for a penalty. But the referee waves them away, and railways can come out on the counter. So many players clashing for the same ball. There was an arm around the Himachal player. Beg your pardon, it was Mamta with the second of the game early on. She's on a hat trick now. How often do you see that? Two well-executed chipped goals from the same player in the same game. It would be something of a world record if she can get the hat-trick with another lob. It's a desperate effort from Himachal. Can they stop the bleeding? Railways are up and running so quickly. Four goals in the tournament, just in the final round. Sanju coming short, but she can't fetch the ball on time. But it will be a throw for her side. They don't know what's hit them. It is the quick, incisive passing play from Railways that carved Himachal open in the second half. The second goal was a brilliant combination of Anju Tamang and Kamala Devi. The third one, a long ball chased down, Manisha coming out and then Mamata going for goal. In fact, if we do count Kamala Devi's finish as a lobbed as well, there have been three lobbed finishes for Railways today. There goes the long searching ball. Can Anju get on the end of it? The physical prowess of the centre back prevents her, but she is under pressure. The pass is hit short. Sanju's finish blocked and will go out for a Railways corner. An underhit pass in that sort of region will definitely lead to trouble. A long second half is in the store for Himachal if they don't sort out their defence. Anju going for goal from the distance. She tried to be too smart and catch the goalkeeper out but she was alert. first touch leading away from the marker but they can't get out of their own half 
Kamala's pass intercepted. Himachal have time on the ball now. They just need to relax. Let the midfielders and forwards make their runs and then pick the pass. Till then, play it amongst themselves in their own half and win time. Now this is what we were talking about, just simple touches, simple passes to free players. But something is not clicking for them. And the number four, Ritu Devi, is looking in some discomfort. Another feeble attempt at clearing their lines. There is Anju free, but Kamala can't find the right incisive pass. Trying to find the top corner from the right side of the box on her left foot. Just not catching it sweetly enough though. Now this might be a chance to boost their goal difference. They smell the opportunity. Railways are going for the kill. Not shy of taking shots from distance. Now, lovely dribbling scale. Beating the players. An incisive pass into the middle. But the centre-backs in tandem do well to deny Kamla the space she craves. A clash between the goalkeeper and Kavita, she is down in some pain. These are the awkward type of collisions that occur in a contact sport. She is alright. The physio advises her to leave the field for treatment momentarily. And Himachala down to town, down to 10 yet again. Decent enough drop kick. But there has only been one winner in all the physical and aerial duels. The clear winner being Railways. Anju wanting the ball played there. But the good block prevents it. Both the players not on the same wavelength. The pass going out for a throw in. Has the game completely turned into an attack versus defense set piece drill kind of situation? Do Himachal Pradesh have anything in the tank to offer? Again, the defender Sanju pressing her way too hard, leading to a free kick for Himachal. A well taken free kick. The second ball picked by Himachal. They should be able to hold the ball now. Trying to dribble their way past the railway players. But they just can't get through the traffic. Railways. A good tackle. The full back. Standing firm there. Determined to win the ball. And she is driving down the ground. The pass out has been a disappointing one. Story of the day. Unable to get their passes right. Anju spreading it out to the fullback who seeks Sanju. Gets the cross in. Anju with the first touch. She was offside, but she couldn't find the net even from that range. She strikes the crossbar. What is it today with her finishing? From that sort of range, even if the flag went up, you expect her to hit the back of the net. She just can't catch a break today, can she? And 
and here they are once again the defender to shield the ball out but she instead wins a free kick or it is a corner says the referee as the final touch was of punam and the physical duel yielding no foul sixth corner for railways they prefer the short corner this time anju launches it with a left foot keeper spills it first time there is a chance to go for the overhead but it just doesn't materialize and himachal pradesh have a goal kick manisha's punching will leave you wanting for something more she has to get the strength behind it she can't keep a punches to her own box another turnover anju releasing kamala takes the touch away from the defender and finishes it with a plum gets a second of the day it is the danger pair combining yet again anju tamang playing in kamala devi the captain has a brace for herself this is some elite finishing incredible awareness the first touch taking her away from the defender and then the second one using the right foot to lift it past the goalkeeper there is nothing that the poor hapless goalkeeper could do her defense is letting her down yet again two players on a hat trick for railways can anyone get the holy grail of football will it be mamta will it be kamla or will it be anju tamang doing the damage this time by scoring she has got two assists to her name now look how easy it is for railways to get in behind the midfielders have completely given up the press and the center backs are confused whom to pick because the front four are interchanging so fluidly mamta sanju kamla and anju tamang everyone taking each of the defender and then swapping for every 5 minutes or so the confused whom to mark a complete catastrophe for the defense they're still hungry jabamani wants the throw in their favor but she won't get it it is himachal with the throw just some 20 minutes or ago this was a completely different game but after half time it is a rout in the making railways take the tally to 5 in the tournament anju tamang beats the center back for pace and power she cuts back to the middle that should have been tapped in the attacker not able to sort of feet inside the 6 yard box put on a plate by anju that should be 5-1 for railways the blowing away himachal now this could be a sad watch turn away if you are a himachal pradesh fan it looks like railways have many more goals in them and again the lightning pace of mamta getting the cross in no one around the first touch himachal could get it away you could blame no single individual for conceding all those number of goals 
it is a failure as a system and is a testament of how good railways are the lack of communication the breaking down the disjoint between the midfield and defense is hurting himachal a lot they have a rare chance to go forward but the physically imposing railway center backs won't allow that desperate please for the offside flag it won't go up anju is there in the middle it is another good block slid across the 6 yard box anju strike catching a good portion of kavita and heading out for a corner corner fired in headed in an awkward position she commits the foul on the opposition himachal will have a free kick the winger couldn't trap the ball under her and railways have the ball yet again the number of turnovers they have to be a worrying stat for himachal and now anju has some green grass in front of her exchanging passes she has the eyes on goal and she does get a goal finally on her left foot towards the near post she faked the goalkeeper to make a believe that she was going for the far post but she pulls the trigger to the near post this time it's kamla providing the favor in return playing a lovely one two with anju opening a body up but instead of going to the far corner she goes for the bottom at the near post and she finds it with accuracy and precision finally anju tamang has the one goal she has been craving for the star indian midfielder on mark and under way in her hunt for the golden boot she has assisted twice she has had so many misses and finally this is her opportunity as we approach the final quarter of the game again the goal reminds you how easily the himachal pradesh slice the part after the initial burst from the midfield she played a simple one two with the captain kamla playing the reverse pass with perfection and anju picked the spot and placed it they're hungry for more they want to improve their goal difference because of the earlier defeat they suffered jaba mani has completely parked herself in the opposition half she's not even bothered about the defending they're not bothered about the odd breaks because the center backs will defend for them they want to get as many goals as possible number 4 fires across into the boydel it is one full back dueling against the other full back in himachal pradesh half could you believe what you're seeing this might be the example of complete total domination jabamani is playing higher than an average winger you could say this is not helping again the reverse pass jaba mani is through but the finish shows you that she is a full back 
rather than your average winger. Another superb one-two. What a team finish that is. On her left foot. The technique was all wrong. She couldn't decide what she wanted to do with it. Just ends up hooking the ball. It's an easy save for the goalkeeper. And in fact, Manisha was the reason the Railways got that chance. It was a terrible goal kick from her. Putting a side in trouble. Now Kamala Devi with time and space inside the box. Can she get the hat-trick? A crucial block it is. Kusum, the substitute defender. Getting a key block to deny Kamala her hat-trick. That was surely destined for the top corner. Sanju Yadav with the delivery. She skims it along the ground, exchanging pass with the captain. Number four goes for goal. Tries to catch the goalkeeper out. She reads it well and parries it behind for another corner. That had some vicious dip on it. She had to react. Could have caught it, but opts to throw it out. Another cross put into the box. It is in the back of the net. It is sixth for Railways and one by Machal. How easy was that? The cross beating everyone and coming to Jabamani. Who missed an easier chance early on but this time she was not missing it. A lovely volley that is. It's a matter of all the attackers getting onto the score sheet for railways. All of them eager to get one for themselves. A raising tide raises all ships, doesn't it? A route gives chance for everyone to score and now here is Jabamani inside the box yet again. Options in the middle. This has to be seven. Saved by the goalkeeper but the rebound. Is put in by Jabamani. Well, this is a sad, sad game for Himachal. A complete implosion in the second half. They're out of steam and they have given up. Beg your pardon, this player that's called the sixth goal was Deeparnita Day, and this time her shot causes the chaos. And gets Railways another goal. Did Jabamani get the final touch? It looks like she did not. Railways are blowing Himachal Pradesh away. This is getting humiliating now. Inside 30 minutes in the second half, they've conceded 5. Will Railways decide this is enough and rest their star players? Even in a goal difference point of view, they have, more, they have made more than enough. They have achieved a goal difference of plus 6 goals from this game alone. Can they rest their star players with an eye on the bigger matches ahead? It, the 7th goal does go to Jabamani to do. She does get the final she does get the final touch after Deeparnita's shot was blocked. Look at this now. Sanju Yadav is playing as the fullback. And Jabamani is completely playing as the winger. They're enjoying the time on the pitch.
Marshall do have a chance to grab a consolation. Something to cheer them up. Something to cut the goal difference. But it just won't materialize for them now. Kamla spraying it to the right flank. Here is Dipanita. The captain making a dashing run, looking for the cross. The cross is fizzed, but she can't get there. Hit with too much power. Kamla Devi eager to get a hat trick. Is disappointed with the cross that was played into the box. Hit with too much power and way too close to the goalkeeper. Final water break of the game. A short 30 minute chance for Himachal to get to their coach. They must be in for a hiding because they failed completely as a defensive unit today. You could probably wonder how the scoreline was only 1 1 at half time. If you remember, Railways had incredible chances in the first half as well, hitting the post and the crossbar and few, remar and few remarkable goal line blocks. Their domination was on show from the minute one. But finally, it took to the second half for it to be reflected on the scoreline. They can't let this dishearten them for the next 15 minutes. They should keep baby steps in their mind. Just a small goal. Keep the clean sheet for the next 15 or so. Don't get beaten. Don't give easy goals to Railways. 26 attempts at goal, 19 on target. And 7 of them resulting in goals for Railways. Just a meager 2 for Himachal. And the sole attempt on goal being the equaliser at 1-1. After that, it's been a different game in all aspects. Number 10, Silky moves, finally getting a feel of the ball. But the tired legs of the forwards failing them. As Mamta tried to reach the ball. This might be an effort to conserve energy. Sanju Yadav playing as the fullback, just staying there and protecting her energy. She is substituted off now. Jabamani will be the proper winger for them. Here is Deepar Pita. Commits the foul. A bit too eager to add another one to her tally. With a rash challenge. On her up, position marker. Long ball floated, but the aerial duel goes in railways' favor once again. Good interception, but Jabamani, here she is on the ball. 
She is a dynamo of energy. From the left wing, she makes her way to the right half space. She wants the ball to be played. And the lack of chemistry is on the show. The substitute trying to split the defense, plays the pass into a no-player zone. Swarnamai probably got the best seats to watch the second half. In her own goal, getting very few touches every now and then. And having a better view of watching all her teammates get on the score sheet. She wants to join in on the fun now. Taking her time on the ball. Again, bullying Himachal off the ball. Here come Railways once more. A turnover counter chance for Himachal. The number four keeps hold of it. And now, one by one, they've beaten so many players but not to a tangible effect. Finally, the play breaks down for a railways throw in. Another pass between the lines. How easy is it? Here is Javamani trying to find the captain. Deeparpita trying to get the error. Jabamani now pulls it into the box. There are the centre backs standing. Manpreet Kaur, the substitute, is having a majority of the chances in the midfield to win the ball back. Trying to play Kamala Devi through. Just a bit heavy for the captain. Can she finish her hat-trick today? Eight minutes to go. Few more substitutions for both the sides. A change in goal for Himachal. Parveen Kumari coming on for Manisha. Just to provide some game time to the second string goalkeeper. Both the sides making use of all the substitutes. The result was determined long back. This is just a time for all the substitute players to go out there and express themselves. And see if they could get anything solid. For railways it might be increasing goal difference. Or for Himachal Pradesh it might be to grab a consolation. Railways enjoying all the time in the world. Claims of a race boot, but the player is down.
a confirmation of the substitution the goal scorer manisha has been withdrawn for himachal pradesh priyanka datta entering the fray the referee allowing the drop ball to be taken the possession should be handed over or rather himachal are going ahead with it can they raise the tempo for one last time grab something out of this game there is the real change we've all waited for manisha substituted off for pavin kumari we see changes in goal very rarely and today being one of the rarest occasions shopping into the middle with zero contest the clearance had to be there but it takes a deflection of the railways player it will be a goal kick number 9 not attempted through pass easily intercepted by the defense how frustrating is mars b for the himachal forwards throughout the day nothing has worked for them they haven't got the service they needed even when they tried to drop back they weren't able to penetrate the railways ranks trying to plug the long ball from the sky some fine pressing on show again supriya rotary with the arm band played in the striker with a delicately measured through pass the goalkeeper was alert to the threat taking the armband from the captain kamla devi we have so many contenders for the player of the match now anju tamang who has got a goal and got couple of crucial assists in trying to break the deadlock or is it mamta who brought life to the contest by scoring the opener or is it the captain kamla devi who scored couple of wonderful goals and assisted anju now the number 15 what an incredible miss that is dancing away into the box she couldn't believe how she put it wide the defense completely gave up but the last ditch block from ritu devi opened her body up went for the near post ritu devi stride was long enough to block it 10th corner for railways can they get the 8th goal good delivery in but himachal able to clear their lines can they get the successful counter now pouring bodies forward now and ever for himachal to grab a consolation and it might be never if the game is played today deep arpita's cross intercepted running into a crowd but they're lucky to keep the ball
Railway is intercepting it again. Maybe the intensity from Railways has dropped or the defending intensity from Himachal has gone up. The past 20 minutes have been better. After the 70th minute mark, they have showed improvement. Very sad state of affairs that it has taken this long for them to get their defensive act together. Then midfield closing down space as well and winning the tackles. If they had the similar intensity after the second half's kickoff, things could have been very, very different. It was the implosion in the first 15 minutes that led us to an early result and an early conclusion. Six minutes of added time. They just can't get the full time whistle that quickly, can they? They have to labor through for another five minutes. Yet again, a hopeful through ball cut out by the defense of railways. Asha Lata Devi, Railways is number four. What a game she has had. Sweeping everything, sitting in front of the defense, breaking up play, innumerable times, winning the ball back, and then using it efficiently as well. Spreading it forward to kickstart attacks. Another genuine man of the match contender, without a goal or assist. And now, Himachal, a very, very rare box entry for them. But they're repelled away with ease. Will win the throw now. Can count on fingertips of how many times they've entered the opposition's box in the second half. Shashmita Swain down in some serious pain. The physio is out running onto the field. We might have some added time on injury time. And now the box entry doesn't result in anything except a goal kick for the opponents. Playing passes amongst their back lines. Railways looking to close this game out on a high. But it is Himachal, the number 10 going for goal. At a decent height for the goalkeeper to claim. And now the standing captain thought she was through on goal 1v1. Supriya, imposing herself on the attacks now, making those forward runs. The Parpita, despite slipping, stands firm on the ball. Here is some attacking thirst on the right flank. Again, look how easily she got her way into the box, taking a crucial deflection of the defender. And at the Guru Nanak Stadium, Haryana have completely destroyed Maharashtra. Nobody saw this at the beginning of the final round. Maharashtra are a strong, strong outfit. But Haryana have blown them away. 
incredible performance from Haryana. It makes the group, it blows the group wide open. There are opportunities for everyone. Manipur, not in their usual best state. Maharashtra, slipping up twice. Railway is now finding their bo scoring boots. Getting those goals in for fun now. Can they keep the good form going? We're in for exciting group B clashes coming your way very soon. Approaching the 96th minute. There might be very little time added on. One final attack of the game maybe. But the referee says she has seen enough and she draws curtains on the group B clash. What promised to be an even contest at half time. Any hopes of getting an even contest in the second half were quashed easily. As soon as the captain got on the score sheet. Just two minutes into the half. It has all been in railways' favour after that. A proper route of Himachal Pradesh. 7-1 the full-time score at the GNDU main venue. A couple of braces for Mamata and the captain Yumnam Kamla Devi. Anju Tamang, the star player, got on the score sheet along with the substitute Deeparnita Day and the makeshift winger of the day, Jabamani Tudu, who applied the finishing touch on Deeparnita's parry. Manisha, for a brief moment of time, thought she equalized the game and swung the favour in Himachal Pradesh's favour. But in the second half, clinical finishing from Railways killed the game. We can see the players getting into a huddle. They must not get disheartened by this defeat. There are still chances in the tournament. It's a heartwarming picture to see. Lovely scenes. The team spirit, it will stay there. The players should stick together. These are the kind of situations that make you tougher, that make you stronger, that make you better. They have to take this set back on the chin and must come up with better performances. We are sure Himachal Pradesh will bounce back. And for railways, they put themselves in a much better situation, improving their goal difference as well. Twelve goals scored in Super Sunday fixtures. Eight in the clash here and four between the clash in the clash between Haryana and Maharashtra. Haryana scoring all four there for your information. The dominance can be put in numbers very easily. 70% of possession, 28 shots, 20 of them on target, yielding in seven goals. Himachal Pradesh have very little joy, either attackingly or defensively. It's a performance that they have to forget. And they have to get back to the training ground to get something back in the tournament. And in tomorrow's clash, we have another. And for tomorrow's clash, we have Karnataka taking on Chandigarh at the GNDU main venue at 7.30 a.m. We are slowly getting into that the winner takes all kind of phase of the tournament. Every match is crucial from now on. Few games might be virtual eliminators. Can Karnataka step up? Can, Kandi, can Chandigarh continue their march towards the next round of the tournament? We will find out tomorrow. Till then, this is your host signing off.